Your skin renews itself every 28 days, but it needs your help to achieve optimal results. So today, I'm going to give you six skin health tips all men should follow. But I'm gonna come back to that because first, you need to understand how your skin works. This is why you don't know how to take care of your skin. Your skin is made up of three layers, the epidermis, dermis, and hypodermis. The epidermis is the layer you see. It protects against UV rays and dirt. The dermis controls hair follicles and sweat glands. And the hypodermis layer, which is the deepest one, acts as a cushion and thermostat. I'm gonna give you two health tips for each layer so you can achieve your best skin. Starting with the top layer, which is the epidermis. Tip number one, choose the right exfoliant. Your epidermis layer naturally gets rid of dead skin cells, but sometimes, they can build up, causing problems like dry skin, acne, and ingrown hairs. And if these issues aren't treated properly with the right exfoliant, they can cause damage and leave scars on your skin forever. So here's how you avoid that. First, grab yourself a chemical exfoliant, which is gentler and better for your skin. If you have dry or sun-damaged skin, you want an exfoliant that has hyaluronic acid to help repair the damage. If you have acne prone or oily skin, opt for a beta hydroxy acid exfoliant or BHA as this will penetrate deeper and balance your oil glands. Now, no matter what exfoliant you use, these are your right steps to use it. You're gonna apply a pea-sized amount. Then, you will gently massage it onto your damp face, moving upwards, counterclockwise, in circular motions. This will activate your lymphatic system to increase blood and oxygen supply. You'll do this for 30 seconds and then rinse off. Experts suggest that you should only exfoliate once a week. If you have oily or acne-prone skin, you can exfoliate up to three times a week. Number two, supplement with tretinoin, the epidermis also helps produce melanin, which helps determine your skin color and tone. The best part is that you can optimize this process for healthier looking skin and decreased signs of aging using tretinoin, a substance derived from vitamin A. In a comprehensive overview published by the National Library of Medicine, they analyzed 180 individual studies on tretinoin. These studies covered various groups of people, dosages, and even treatment durations. The results were conclusive. Tretinoin was found to be a safe and effective long-term treatment for protecting the epidermis, maintaining healthy skin, and treating acne. So far, we've covered the skin layer everyone sees, which is the epidermis. This is what everyone teaches you. But if you want beautiful skin, we'll have to go a level deeper into the dermis layer. Number three, protect your proteoglycans. Oil glands in the dermis layer of your skin help keep it soft and smooth. However, as you age, you start to produce less oil, which in turn reduces the amount of proteoglycans in your skin. This process can begin as early as 25 years old. Proteoglycans are compounds that are made of proteins like collagen that help maintain your skin's hydration and elasticity, which ultimately prevents wrinkles. So here are three steps to take care of your proteoglycans. First, I want you to increase the intake of vitamin C, both through what you eat and your skin. Vitamin C is an antioxidant with anti-inflammatory properties that help produce more collagen. This in turn aids in maintaining your proteoglycans. Studies suggest that you should aim for 90 milligrams of vitamin C per day. To achieve this, I like to use a serum. This one's from Geology, which contains high concentrations of vitamin C. The second step, increase the amount of vitamin E in your routine. Vitamin E also has antioxidant properties. These help protect your skin against UV radiation. It's also a humectant and an emollient, meaning it helps your skin absorb and retain water. This will keep your proteoglycans hydrated and lubricated. You can purchase a separate vitamin E. However, the serum that I use from Geology also contains vitamin E, and it's simple to use. You only have to apply three to four pumps right after washing your face. And the third piece of the puzzle, apply ferulic acid. Vitamin C and E alone aren't enough because they are unstable and sensitive to visible light, heat, and air. And this is where research comes in because it shows that when you combine vitamin C, E, and ferulic acid, it increases the effectiveness of sun protection and helps maintain the health of your proteoglycans. And yes, the serum from Geology contains all three because I like to be effective. When it comes to skincare, you can buy individual products, but that becomes expensive. I like products that contain everything that I need, so my morning routine is streamlined. And this is what I love about geology. They could sell you three independent products, but instead they do their research and they find the best formula and understand that certain products independently 
don't work well, other brands would have sold you that. This is why Geology has over 7,000 five-star reviews and over 26 grooming awards. It's the best skincare that you will find for your skin, especially for men. And if you guys want to check it out, they're going to be linked down below. You can take a skin quiz where you will find what specific products you need depending on your skin condition, whether you have dry skin, acne, or oily skin, they have you covered. And if you use my special code, you get a limited time offer and get 70% off. That is basically a gift for your skin. If you guys wanna check it out, it's going to be linked down below. Number four, supplement with hyaluronic acid. Out of the three layers, the dermis is the thickest layer of your skin. Hyaluronic acid acts as a cushion, filling spaces between the fibers, making your skin look fuller. It prevents wrinkles and then transports nutrients into your skin cells. It also maintains skin hydration by being able to hold 1,000 times its weight in water. This is what gives your skin that plump, hydrated appearance. And remember, your skin serves as a signal of your superior genetic quality. Here is how you're supposed to use hyaluronic acid to make it look its best. First, wash your face with a gentle cleanser. This is the everyday face wash from Geology. Next, dampen your skin lightly with lukewarm water. This helps bind the water to your face instead of pulling moisture from deep within your skin. After that, you will apply a thin layer of hyaluronic acid to your skin. Finally, finish it off with a high quality moisturizer to lock in the effects of the hyaluronic acid. We now have covered the top two layers of your skin. Let's go into the deepest layer yet, the one that everyone forgets about, yet is the most important for beautiful skin, the hypodermis layer, which takes us to number five. Consume more antioxidants. The hypodermis layer of your skin can't be reached by regular skincare products. To maintain the health of this layer, we need to attack it at a cellular level, starting with your consumption of antioxidants. According to experts, you need around 12,000 ORAC units of antioxidants every day. So to make it simple, here's a list of foods that I consume every day that have the highest concentration of antioxidants. First, dark chocolate has about 210,000 ORAC units for every 100 grams. Second, it's blueberries, which has around 14,000 ORAC units. Third, it's peanut butter, which has around 5,700 units. Fourth is coconut milk, which has around 1,800 units for every 100 milliliter. And finally, the cheapest one, steel cut oats, which has around 1,700 units for every 100 grams. But really, to take it to the next level, I don't eat these independently. Instead, I make a shake that I consume every night. It's part of my nightly routine. Also, makes my skin look amazing. Number six, change what you eat to improve your gut biome. The foods you eat play a crucial role in your body's ability to regulate your skin through what is known as the gut-skin axis. Most people tend to eat one of two ways, not realizing that one way could be damaging their skin. The first method involves eating multiple times throughout the day. You eat breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and then snacks whenever you're hungry. However, doing so prevents your body from producing the necessary bacteria needed to break down your food, break down toxins, and absorb nutrients. This, in turn, affects the overall health of your body, and unfortunately, also how your skin looks. The second approach involves intermittent fasting. When you fast for a prolonged period, your body starts producing more anaerobic bacteria, which is responsible for powerful anti-aging effects. You want to start fasting for 16 hours a day. Your new eating window should only be 8 hours. For example, you can start eating at 12 in the afternoon, and your last meal should be at 8 at night. And for those that are truly committed to have the best skin possible, you could reduce this down to a six hour window where you will fast 18 hours a day. By doing so, you will trigger something called autogaphy, which is the process of cellular regeneration, helping your skin renew faster than the 28 days I first stated. And that is how you treat all three layers of your skin so you can help it regenerate faster and have the best looking skin you've ever had. If you guys want to continue to level up, I'm going to leave another video here, which starts our series on the great filter. See you guys next time.